So into our previous video, practically we have seen how we can use the break statement into our existing loop. So our break statement has ended out the complete loop which we have formed and directly it made us to move on the prompt. Now what if, if I do not want to entire loop to be stopped over there? So there I'll be using a continuous statement. So what your continuous statement does? The continuous statement is just similar to your break statement, but except that it does not delete or you know end up all the loops which you have, but in spite of that it will just end up the current iterations or the current loop which you are using. So this is the continuous statement you have. Now if I want to use the continuous statement again, I do not have any big commands or any expressions over here, directly I need to define the continuous after my loop. So automatically it will go on continuing the other process and it will follow the other loop protocols. Now let us see how we can use this continuous statement into our terminal. So as we discussed uh, like her break statement into the earlier video and we have also seen the continuous statement is a bit similar to your break statement where generally we use with the exception over here that we generally uh, causes you know the break of the current iteration of the loop to exit rather than the whole loop to exit. So here we are going to see the command into it like you know or we are going to create a script where we are going to create a loop and we are going to break it and uh, you know into some part and we are going to continue the loop until we are getting you know the expected result. So for that again I'm going to use um, I'm going to create a statement that is my continuum I can say continue shell script. So here I'm going to add the continue statement example. And I'm going to start with a variable which I'm going to add uh, into the uh, numbers and I'm going to define some list of numbers into this uh, by just defining it into the quotes that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 or we can define till 5, no issues. So I can define till 5 and then I'm going to do is I'm going to use the for loop and I'm going to define the numbers. The number is again a variable I'm going to define where I want that numbers from the the again variable we have added that is num right so the numbers which I'm going to add into the num we are going to do configuration where I'm going to add a queue of the numbers where I'm going to check for which number is even into this queue and which number is odd so there again I'll use the expression that is the Uh, sorry, we can define whether uh, this particular number which I have added. So, I'll define nums. This particular variable contains, so it will be divided by 2. If it is divided by 2, then it will be a even number. If it is not divided by 2, it will be an odd number. So, let us check into this. I'm going to define a condition if dollar Q, it is an even number, right? Is equal to zero. Means if we divide it and the, you know, uh, the uh, remainder is again zero, so I should uh, quote it then. Then I should define it in echo. The number is even, right? And if not, so we will continue it. If not, we will continue to check for the other number. And then again, it will uh, uh, start with the loop and it will create an echo command. The number will be the odd number, right? So the rest number of will be the odd number. So I can also write it, this is an odd number. So once we have done with that, again what I'll do, I'll end this for loop by giving the command done. Done with that, save it, can run it.
So this is the mistake. I generally do it most of the times. Generally, we need to So I'll just save this and we'll run this continue.sh. You can see it is showing you this is an odd number, this is an even number, this is an odd number, this is an even number for fine numbers. If I add more numbers into this, so it will go on continuing for this numbers as well. It will check for whether these numbers are even or odd. So starting with your one, it does showing you that it is an even number. Six. 7, 8, 9, and 10. And check continue.sh. So you can see in 10 times generally you have these numbers are added as even and odd. So it will go on finding the on and even number sequentially what you have defined into the list. So this is what we have seen about the continue statement. So we have seen both the break statement and the continue statement over here. And then into next section, uh, we are going to see like what the substitutions are, like how we can add the commands into the shell and we can run the shell. So for that, watch the next video.